guys so i'm gonna start off this look by priming my face and i'm using my nivea men post shave balm and my makeup forever hd primer so i want to brow this a little bit more like matching with my skin tone so i'm going in with embark by mac and then i'm gonna go over that color with brown script which is gonna give me like a reddish type of shade more so like matching my skin tone because I want to look undead and I figured that this was a good way to achieve this look by just filling in my eyebrows lighter than I normally would just because I want the overall look to be like a little bit more bronzy and golden I'm gonna go ahead and use ochre the yellow shade from this palette to clean up my eyebrows and I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender to prime my eyes, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm taking the concealer all the way in the inner corner and all the way out to the outer corner. I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender and then set that with my Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder. Taking the lighter shade from the contour palette by Makeup Shayla and Tarte, I'm going to use that as my transition color. And I'm just going to shade that all the way out. I'm not stopping at the outer corner. I'm going a little bit past my brow with the color just to make sure that everything blends seamlessly. Now taking MAC Brun, I'm going to define the inner corners of my eye. I'm doing this toward the nose just to add a bit more of a sunken in look. Now going in with Noir Eyeshadow from the Shadow Couture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to do my little wing thing with my MAC 239 brush. And I'm just winging that shadow out. And I'm also going to slightly cut the crease-ish with that shadow. I'm just trying to get a clean line at the top and also at the bottom. So I'm not doing any blending above the crease. I'm going to keep that line really harsh. I want it to be just a straight line, so I'm just going to go ahead and map that out and then fill it in with a black eyeshadow. I'm going in just to sharpen everything up with my Anastasia number no. 12 brush. This is my eyebrow brush and I absolutely love it for eyeliner as well. It just makes everything really crisp and sharp, so I'm just detailing with that brush. For the center of the eyelid, I'm going to be taking Flamethrower by Makeup Geek. I was going for a more copper, bronzy type of look, so this is the perfect shadow for that. And then on the inner corners, I'm going to go in with the Tartlet palette. I'm going to be mixing Firecracker. That is not it. Is that it? No, I think it is Firecracker. I'm going to be going with Firecracker and Funny Girl. <laughs> I thought I had the names wrong. So I'm going to mix those two shades, and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner just to add some light in that area. Okay, so I'm going in and I'm trying to do this inner corner cat eye wing thing and it's not working out. So I'm going to go back in and do it with liquid liner later, but I'm just showing you guys um, this portion of the video because I also did line my upper lash line and I wanted to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go back in later and try and fix the um, the inner corner cat eye with you know, the liquid liner, like I already said. I'm going to be using my Flutter Lashes Provocative Lashes. I really love these lashes. They're super long and really wispy. So they really are dramatic lashes, but they still do allow you to show off the eyeshadow. So I love them. I'm going to color correct using the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer Color Corrector. 
in the shade orange and I'm blending that out with my beauty blender. And after I look like the Snapchat tomato filter, I'm gonna go over it with some foundation. And I'm using my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Mink. And I'm just blending that in with my um, Real Techniques buffing brush. For concealer, I'm going with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel on the inner corners and then on the perimeter of that, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I just find that this gives my under eyes a little bit more dimension, so I really like to do this. It's a super dramatic look and honestly, we're going to cover it up with some ugly makeup so you really don't have to do this. I'm just being extra, but I really wanted to um, give my look some more dimension by highlighting really heavily underneath the eyes. And um, I just feel like it gives the entire look more dimension overall. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm blending that in with my beauty blender. I'm going in to set my entire face with my Sasha Buttercup powder, but I'm gonna set the inner portion of my face underneath my eyes, above my lip, my chin, um, the, my nose and forehead. I'm gonna set that really heavily. And then I'm go, gonna go in later on with a brush and sweep that powder all over my face just to give me a really mattified look. I'm not going for anything too dewy for this look. I wanna look pretty matte because I'm trying to look undead, so I need to be matte for that. And now here I am fixing up my, that inner wing thing that I was trying to do earlier. And I find that it was much easier to do with the liquid liner than it was to do with the brush. So just a little tip, if you wanna do the inner wing thingy, liquid liner is the way to go and I'm using the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm using Nora eyeshadow again from the Shadow Couture palette and this look definitely is Egyptian inspired and they definitely use a lot of blues in the reference pictures that I was looking at so I'm blending blue underneath the lash line really really heavily and then I'm going to blend that out using Morocco to give a more undead look, you know? Blending some red underneath there definitely gives your look a little bit more dimension. You look tired, you look dead. How many times am I gonna say that, right? So I'm going in to contour my nose with brown eyeshadow and then I'm going over that with the contour shades from the Tarte palette uh, just to lighten that up a bit. And now I'm using brown eyeshadow again to define my cheekbones. I'm trying to look really sunken in and I'm really want, I really want to define the hollows of my face and this eyeshadow definitely does allow me to do that. So I'm just blending that in and I'm blending the shadow downward and I'm fading the color as I go down. Now I'm just defining my temples. I want it to look really defined, really hollow and I'm doing that again with brown eyeshadow. And I noticed that I got a much more crisp look with the eyeshadow brush. So I'm just using that on my cheeks as well here. And just like I did on the other side, after I place that really harsh line there, I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush to blend that out to give my cheeks a little bit more dim dimension and fade that darker color out as it goes downward. To blend that harsh brown color out even more, I'm gonna be taking the contour shades from the Makeup Shayla and Tarte palette again, and I'm gonna blend that out as well, just to give my cheeks a little bit more dimension. Now here I'm just putting some translucent powder, and that's just to help the dark color fade into a lighter color even smoother. So I found that when I did this, it just gave the colors a better transition from dark to light.
just because I like the effect that it gives, I'm gonna go in with Morocco eyeshadow to blend out that color and give my cheeks a little bit more definition. And to give my under eyes a little bit more of a drawn, worn, really tired effect, I'm blending Morocco even further underneath the blue just to make my eyes look a little bit more sunken in and, you know, just tired and dead. Here I'm just going over my lips with some concealer and my beauty blender just to completely take away the color. We're trying to look washed out here, okay? I haven't seen a dead person with any pink lips yet, so we gotta mute out the color. And I'm setting that with translucent powder. Now I'm just going in to draw out like where my teeth are gonna be, so I'm using some black eyeshadow first, and then I'm gonna go over that with my um, Kat Von D ink tattoo liner in Trooper. Guys, I'm so sorry that my palette was in the way. I did not even realize what was going on at the time. So I just got the best shots that I could that was showing, you know, what I was doing to the best of my ability. But for the most part, you're going to see the Shadow Couture palette. And I'm just going to try. I just tried to work with that. And the next time around, I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything blocking your view. Okay? Count on that. Promise. I'll make sure to be more careful with that next time. So here I'm just cleaning up my um, teeth with the same concealer that I used before and that was a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. I'm really not being too neat with this. I'm just trying to separate you know where the black lines are so that they don't all like mesh together so i'm just putting that in between all the black lines that i drew and then i'm also going to shade that black with some brown like i'm doing right here just to give above my teeth a little bit more dimension of course and i'm using the morocco shadow i just find that using the brown against the black gives it a nicer gradient from dark to light up against my skin tone my undead skin tone that is because this is definitely not my skin tone, naturally. <laughs> so since we're going for the Egyptian undead skeleton look, I have to do my neck bones. So what I'm doing is just what I think, my variation of, you know, a skeleton's neck bones. I'm just shading a few lines on each side, either side of my neck, and I'm blending that black eyeshadow down just to give more dimension, and I'm also going to go back in with some brown eyeshadow, just like I do with my teeth, and I'm gonna blend the brown eyeshadow in between the black lines to give a little bit more dimension to the neck. Here I'm just drawing myself just the typical skull nose, um, so I'm just gonna go up and draw two uneven or unlevel points on the center of my nose, and then I'm gonna fill it in. And I'm using the Snazaru Black uh, Water Activated Paint with a paintbrush that I got from Michaels. Here I'm just adding some Prosecco Pop from my Jaclyn Hill and Becca um, Champagne Glow Face Palette to the center of my forehead, my neck. I'm also going to be adding that in between the lines uh, that I made where my bones are, in between my bones. I'm blending that in between my bones. <laughs> And then I'm gonna also blend that on the tops of my cheekbones and the center of my nose. 
So anyway, that's it for this look, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Target. 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 Target.